all that good stuff. Like this is the best neighborhood we ever been in in our life, ever, ever. The first house we've ever been in in our life. I really didn't care if I never had anything in here. Just let me stay here, keep my kids in the same school district in this neighborhood. <laughs> This is a um, home owned by my ex-boss. She was like, well, I have a house and the house is totally gutted out. If you can just fix up the house little by little, that'll be payment enough. But then when I left my job, it was like no way to continue on doing this. To me, in my eyes, it's the most beautiful it's, house. Yeah, it's the best thing that I ever seen because I seen worse, you know, and just the simple fact that my kids can live in a house and have their own room is a notch up in the world for me. Moving to Texas was moving to a whole new world for me. Our life in Chicago, we could not let our children go outside and play. The building that we lived in, it was drug and gang infested. If you don't have the right type of money, you can't live in a nice neighborhood in Chicago. So we were forced to live where we grew up at in the ghetto. We were never able to get ahead because we had to be there for the safety of our children. Um, I tell Ginger and Tony, and I've told them since like, I don't know, a couple of weeks after we met, they're my heroes. Like, this family is my real live heroes. They have taken, um, you know, tragic stories in their past and turned it around to make, you know, such an amazing life for their kids and you walk through their house and you see all the things they need and you you know see all the things that's missing when you're here after five or ten minutes you stop noticing it because they're a family and they are so proud of being a family summer is the best daughter anybody could ever want this girl is 16 years old she don't hang in the street she don't go party. Her whole involvement is wrapped up in school. She's like, I'm going to Texas State. I'm going to be a second grade teacher. That's her whole Thank focus. You, you said we're the worst. <laughs> uh, my son wants to be a game designer. He's always been a straight A student. He never wanted to stay home from school. He always done what we asked him to do. He's a computer freak. We bought him his first computer at the age of 13. It took us two years to pay off his computer, but you know what, it didn't matter because that's gonna inspire Josh and his gaming and to go to ACC for a couple of years until he gained those scholarships and continue his education. Three years going through the process of actually getting the help that, that we need, need from our youngest. He, he struggles and lives with a mental health disability. I normally meet, you know, with Tony and Ginger in the morning. We often sit on the front porch, talk about how the week's gone, what's going well with TJ, where is he still struggling, what do we need to work on. They're always open. They're always willing to try something different to work with him. They're just really open to feedback and trying things to help him out. <laughs> it's giving us the opportunity to function as a whole family unit, you know him going through his thing and us not knowing how to cope, how to deal with it. But they've taught us how and our unit is back together and we're headed in the right direction. What I would love to see happen for this family, to be able to own this house, have everything, you know, working, have, you know, walls and, <laughs> you know, walls and sinks and, you know, just the things where the house is in, you know, complete livable condition, be on their way to being completely self-sufficient. I don't know. I can't consider myself being a hero. You know, um, I'm just, I'm just being a dad and she's being a mom. I don't have a damn to my name, but you know what? My I'm kids happy. have moral, morals, they have respect, they have values. And those are the things that they need to make it in this world when we're not here anymore.